the World Health Organization has set a, a global action plan for the prevention and control of non-communicable diseases with the overall aim of reducing premature mortality for non-communicable diseases by 25% by 2025. And they decided to target seven major risk factors for chronic diseases, smoking, alcohol consumption, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, physical inactivity, and high salt intake. And we recently showed in a paper that was published in The Lancet that by additionally targeting low socioeconomic status, we would have an additional benefit in terms of reduction of premature mortality and increasing life expectancy. However, the, these expansions in life expectancy by the, that by the 25 or 25 risk factors and socioeconomic status pose challenges for global health policies because we want to avoid that these additional years of life that we would gain are spent in disability and dependency. But to, uh, so far, we don't know how much targeting these uh, major risk factors for chronic diseases and low socioeconomic status would contribute and impact functional capacity along with uh, increasing life expectancy. So the idea of this new part of the project that we are developing is to look at the contribution of these 25 or 25 risk factors and adverse socioeconomic circumstances to functional capacity and for as a tool for measuring functional capacity which is a very complex um, sort of uh, um, concept we use the measure which is walking speed so people in this set, cohort settings are asked to walk for a, for a set uh, distance and then you measure the, the speed in which they walk and this measure is strongly depends uh, on age so it declines and it, people uh, work slower and slower with aging and it is also has been related to mortality so those people that have a lower working speed have a higher mortality risk and it is also an overall measure of functional capacity and we uh, estimated years of, of functioning lost uh, as measured by this, uh, by this indicator by uh, low socioeconomic status and a number of these factors such as smoking physical activity as what we have sh uh, similar to what we have studied for mortality. And what we showed and we were able to uh, obtain so far uh, is, uh, is uh, the, the idea that by the age of, at six, of 60 years already, uh, individuals with a low socioeconomic status have a lower functional capacity and they lose about 6 to 10 years of functional capacity comparing to those with a high socioeconomic status and the same impact was observed also for other risk factors such as physical inactivity, uh, obesity or diabetes. While some other risk factors that are probably less related to the speed of walking were less important for this specific indicator and these are for example smoking or, or hypertension. These results are very important because they are a, a first quantification of how much uh, uh, targeting these risk factors and socioeconomic status will allow to uh, impact as a gain in functioning. Uh, but of course there are some limitations, for example we only assess walking speed which is one indicator but aging as in functional capacity is a very complex and uh, uh, dimension that we need to address in the rest of the project with other indicators and there is also the issue that the data that we use for far are cross-sectional so we cannot really disentangle how much is due to the real impact of these risk factors or to the fact that for example individuals that have more difficulties in walking also do not do physical activity and, 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 and maybe are become more obese so there is this sort of reverse causation that is possible that we are not able to control for in this analysis. Okay.